six. Go and die. Whip, 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 whip. Just kidding. War doesn't affect me. I'm white. Oh. I've been hit. Ah, <laughs> Antoni, can you please put on my review? Stop. Do you know who you're messing with? Perfect. Ask me one more time to review a specific game for you, and I will. <laughs> 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 I have quite a loaded history with the Call of Duty franchise. I used to be a Call of Duty MLG High Risk High Reward 360 No Scope Pro Gamer. That's right. You're He's scared, scared for me. me. For the past eight years, I didn't give a fuck. But I smelled something different this time. Something interesting. Something amazing. Dude, there are Shaolin monks in the game. Come on, monk boy, show me what you got. It's hard to admit it, but I'm impressed. Death. I'm impressed! There are people who do not care about the single player. But, 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 but the, the thing, thing is that, that I care about the single player because I am a single player. Supreme confidence you were looking at here. The campaign is groundbreaking. Not in terms of story itself. The plot is basic and kind of uninteresting. I also wish that it was a more global conflict and not so... <laughs> not so flat. This is mostly contained to the UK and some made up Middle Eastern country. But not everything mm. is what it seems. Presentation, atmosphere, vibe, and so weiter. Top notch 2019 gamers rise up technology awesome. Modern warfare shies away from nothing, man. It really shows the horror of war. And sometimes it's almost too intense. What kind of video game makes you shoot women? This made me so mad, I just had to. It can get very emotional if you allow it to. People were getting wrecked while I was getting erect. There's a mission where one of your guys shoots the fucking dog. <laughs> he shoots the dog. Hell yeah! They finally dare to push the envelope again. Yeah, like back then in Modern Warfare 2 with the. Remember. <laughs> It's questionable at times, and it plays with the line of artistic freedom, yeah? Even I was having fun until Dimitri lost his arm. Bruh. You know these people who go, I don't want politics in my video games. <gasps> Ach, yeah. uh, uh, hello. This is a deeply political video game. Art is always also political. Art is an expression of people, and people's expressions are shaped by their biases and history and culture, etc. It's a manifestation of ours. <laughs> Society. The way this game shows Russia is pretty damn yikes. Okay, comical and propaganda. What? This dick. But enough about that. Mit dem Angriff Steiners wird das alles in Ordnung kommen. This whole going dark thing is more than just a funny, quotable meme. I'm serious. This is the embodiment of the concept behind this game. Modern Warfare's action is to the core about identifying threats and targets. There are some missions when you're surrounded by nothing but darkness and you even have, you have no night vision. It's an unprecedented feeling of claustrophobia when you're surrounded by civilians and non-combatants. You are always on edge. You never know who and where you're enemies are and this is a fucking serious problem. It is such a rugged and raw and violent and dirty and tight environment you find yourself in. You are always expecting the unexpected to pop out from anywhere. <laughs> All of this intensity is underlined by visuals and sound design that is squirted from God straight into my mouth. With amazing facial animations. She is gorgeous by the way. Beautiful and interesting looking. Not the kind of girl you just want to take home and do a quick little look. Please just watch and listen to this uncommented gameplay for 10 seconds and and and, and feels it. More than the stairs. Bravo 6 move into the first floor. What are you doing?
I'm sorry that I fetishized this campaign, but it's really ah oh, so good. I was fighting terrorists in Piccadilly when I suddenly turned around and I saw a police officer molest a young woman. <laughs> right on, mate. I just love when I play a game and I can sense that there was a coherent vision behind its creation. There are themes they wanted to explore, pillars. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare's campaign is definitely that. You got slower and more narrative driven missions. Then you got some creative intermezzo, like leading a young Asian woman into certain death, followed by classic crouching tiger hidden big ball action. Where you are You're running like lady, yeah? And I feel like they toned down the amount of overly scripted moments like in the past games when you're just a viewer spectating it. Now you are in it, Mother Truth. Deal with it. It's one of the best campaigns this franchise has delivered in years. And if you disagree, then FUCKING MOTHER BLOODY FUCK BITCH! Now the gameplay remains Call of Duty. If you've never been a fan, this ain't gonna change your mind. But they have made some interesting changes that fine-tuned and slightly changed the gunplay. Things are a bit more slower and heavier while still making you feel 110% in control over your character. You can slide, mega sprint, I particularly like the mega sprint, mount on cover, reload while aiming down sides, Shaolin, stop. <laughs> the action has always been on point. You think I'm done? You think I only came here to talk about the single player? You think this is over? Nothing is over! Nothing! It's really hard for me to review multiplayer because one broken gun can ruin it and then one little patch can fix it. It's very volatile, but I will try it. Pretty fantastic. Great selection of weapons and absolutely amazing customization that asks you to make choices and there are more options than ever before. It really has an addicting progression system and the differences between the guns, which is... It's so much fun to personalize stuff and I love that the menus aren't convoluted shit, straight to the point. One of the main things that killed Call of Duty for me back in the day were the ridiculously overpowered killstreaks and perks. And after over 20 hours of playing, I gotta say, they reduced their effectiveness substantially. It's fairer and more balanced now. I still wish it was all gone, but Maybe that's just me, Rantoni, Flaccid, Penis, Aroni. Tactical nuke, juggernaut, mounted flying vehicle where a guy goes <laughs> I hate all of it and it just makes the experience worse and it can shove it out of the window. Additionally, the new large multiplayer maps with vehicles, that shit works shockingly well. I didn't expect this to work for a COD game, but it does. This year, Infinity Ward showed everybody who's boss, but I want to give out a fair warning. Right now, monetization in this game is essentially non-existent. Really? They may be doing this to reap all the good reviews, pump up the Metacritic score, and in one month, BOOM microtransactions! Don't be fooled, Activision is still cancer. Also, I usually don't like talking about technical issues that much because that shit will get fixed anyways. But holy banana in pyjama, Modern Warfare literally fell apart several times. I had these weird ass lights during the campaign, I had 8-bit explosions, black screen slowdowns, everything you can think of. Das macht man doch nicht! Okay, on to the rapid fire issues. The online, online cop mode. What a pathetic cringe this is. <laughs> Say psych right now. This is the weakest link. It feels tacked on and out of place because the rest of the game is on such a high level of polish. Huge empty maps with pointless objectives and endless waves of NPCs. <laughs> This would have fit in with past COD games because they were all shit, but this is so well crafted that it just sticks out like half-baked caca. Sorry, but finish. And very quickly, the last issue, I wish I could customize my HUD, my heads-up display, because there's so much useless shit on the screen. I can see that your mom is fucking in the screen. Can you see that? And the only thing I can do about that is turn on realism mode, which turns everything off. Give me the chance to kind of pick and choose the planet good, okay? My final rating for the game is a very good 8 out of 10, man! And you might think, wait, you only praised the game, why 8? Uh, ain't nothing but a feeling. By the way, my last 7 has been a long time. The meme is dead. And if you don't like it, so are you. Don't forget to watch me! Hello everyone, Reddit meme time. Yikes. Not many good memes this time. But I found 3 good ones. Mom, go play with the neighbor's kids. Neighbor's kids. <laughs> Not funny. The neighbor's kids are always retarded. So it's true. Workers at reactor 4 when they heard a small explosion. <laughs> <laughs> when it exploded, they went like... <laughs> That's probably what happened. Me finally leaves the room after playing for hours. My parents, we are getting divorced and you're the cause. Also, you're adopted. <laughs> <laughs> These memes are all pretty... I don't want to say I'm disappointed, but... You're nothing to me anymore. I'm, I'm joking.
joke. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Please share the video so they get some traction, like them, and all that good stuff. Special thanks go out to Sean Matthews, Kiran, David Schlepp, Thomas Pitkoch, Stealth Daddy, Annie Jokun, and Knüppelmann. If you enjoyed this video, help me do more. Hop on over to Patreon, become part of the Rantoni army, and join the legendary Discord server. See you guys next time. Antonio out.